This piece is inspired by a book from Italo Calvino. It's the Baron in the Trees. And uh, it's inspired by this book because working also with Ai Weiwei as an artist, Chinese artist, who is very uh, provocative and uh, is going against structures, let's say it like that. In the book, where a, a boy, the little boy, has a complication with his old uh, aristocratic family going against us to be a rebel, to be not agree with his father, so that he goes into the trees and uh, doesn't want to go down anymore. Frédéric Flamand, uh, he is an uh, artistic director. Before he had his own company, uh, Chaleur Danse Planca, in Belgium. So he moved to France. And, uh, and this company had uh, a long, long years of uh, finding each other and transforming. You have both sides, you have the contemporary aspect, the contemporary dance, but you also have the neoclassical. So you will find back a bit from the both sides as well in this piece which Frederick always uh, wanted to work in this, all those years working uh, with the Ballet Nationale de Marseille, uh, to have a mixture of both techniques, as he likes as well having a mixture with different technologies, uh, a mixture of different uh, disciplines of art. At each time in each piece, actually, he's working with, uh, with an architect or a designer or an artist, uh, like in the past he did with Sahadid, with Jean Nouvel, uh, Tom Main, uh, there are several, uh, Plessy with Titanic, there are several different artists and architects. And Frédéric Flamand, he visited uh, exhibitions of Ai Weiwei, where he saw the exhibition and he was very impressed. So it came the idea uh, to work together. And so they met also in Marseille several times and had a lot of conversations about the piece and working together. He was uh, sadly not able to see the production. Um, they met uh, Frédéric Flamand in Ai Weiwei a lot of times before we had the premiere, but then Ai Weiwei became uh, in a critical situation where he could not travel and he could not uh, uh, had the moment to actually see the piece in life. It's always a challenge as well with the other piece of Frédéric Flamand because he always works with big structures, particularly with architects, so it's always uh, a lot of things happening as well on stage with objects and with installation and scenography. So each time it's a challenge. Each time it's a challenge to adapt to new space, uh, uh, do different languages, uh, being in Spain or Argentina or Brazil we were as well. So it's like uh, each time, it, for each piece, there's each time uh, a challenge behind the tour. There is a, a big structure moving in space, so you have to be always very aware. Uh, there's also one dancer who is representing uh, the little boy of, uh, of, the, of the book, who is actually inside of the structure, so he's quite acrobatically and being up there and of course for all the dancers as well around and down there you always have to be aware and uh, it's a different way of working yeah it's not having an empty space where you just there then there you have always be do yeah aware and work with it well i discover purse <laughs> so i'm curious how the people will react and how, how they like the piece uh, i think it's a very poetic piece. It has a lot of variety of uh, vis visual, visual uh, situations happening. So it's a bit more abstract, but it's at the same time uh, very easy to access, I think. <laughs>